Hello everyone and welcome to Crossway Kids Online and we are at that time of month where it is time to start a brand new life app and man this is one that I've been looking forward to for a while because we're going to be jumping into a month of wisdom. Now you might think you need to be old to have wisdom or very very experienced but no we're going to be um, exploring how you can have wisdom and make wise choices even at a young age. And now we have so much stuff, so much awesome stuff packed in, ready to go for this month. But before we do that, we're gonna start off um, with a classic here at Crossway Kids, one thing we love to do, and that is worship. So I wanna see you guys all jump up on your feet in your lounge rooms, in your bedrooms, wherever you are at the moment. Jump up on your feet and get excited as we praise our God. What it says to me it tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J E S U S came down to us and gave his best. Without a doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need, so I remember this. Let's go when you ask, He cares when you see. Tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J E S U S came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need. So I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, he cares. When you see, he's there. When you knock, knock. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. Hey guys! Oh well, welcome to Game Time. I'm Andrew, and um, I've got Tyson and Rod here with me. Uh, sorry, we were just chatting about how things were going, but um, lads, I've got a game for you. It's called Puddle Jumper. Super easy. Um, you've got one minute to see how many table tennis balls you can get from your first cup to your last cup. But the only thing you can do is blow them. So once you put in the first cup, and it's blowing the whole way. Pretty so simple. Tricky. After one minute, whoever's got the most in the last cup, or if they've fallen off, that's okay, you will get to win, okay? And the prize is not cleaning up. 
Yeah, the loser. Right, Obviously, right, it's going to clean this up. I need to win yep. this Sorry. Right. So, good to go? Yep. So, you might want to come and stand on the end of the table here. Don't bump the table because if your cups are low on water, you're going to find it really tricky. Are you ready? Yep. On your mark, get set, blow! All right, the timer started. Rod's making a huge mess. He's planning on not losing. Rod's got one. Oh, he's gone right off. Cool. All right, here we go. We've got 10 seconds gone so far. That's it. You can just leave it in the last one if you want. That's okay. Um, oh, Rod's on two. Tyson's skipped that last one, but you know what? We'll we'll just, you know, he's young. Hang it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Rod's on three. Tyson, how many have you got? Let's just say we've got three as well. Let's just say... Gee, Rod's cups are getting quite low. Um, wow, wow. Tyson actually, Rod, can you need a little bit of top up there? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can yeah. give you a top up. Oh, Gee, you're making you. a mess. Wow. Should I give me a top up? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can have a top up. Um, guys, there's only 15 seconds left. Um, yes. Wow, wow. And there's a lot of water around you, Rod. You, gonna... Yeah, you want to hope you're not going to lose this. Go, go, go. Oh, 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 gee. It's neck and neck. It's neck and neck. Oh, and stop. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Wow. You see that last one? It jumped from there to there. Yeah, well, that's okay. You're allowed to. It's puddle jumper, you know. Uh, speaking of jumpers, yours is quite wet. Um, you know what? That was, that was really good. Tyson had a lot that, that sort of came off a bit early. So I'm going to have to give it to Rod. So Tice, uh, if you want to get the rag and stuff and you start cleaning up, thanks for joining us on Game Time. We'll see you next time. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 41 through 52. When God sent his very own son, Jesus, to earth, angels shouted the good news. Fear not, I bring you good news of great joy. Shepherds and wise men journeyed to visit Jesus, and later, Mary and Joseph hurried to Egypt with their young son to keep him safe from King Herod. But Jesus wasn't always a baby or a young child. We don't know much about his early years, but he had to learn to walk and talk just like every other child. Mama. He probably learned from Joseph how to hammer nails and smooth pieces of wood for tables and wheels. We do know one very important story from the time Jesus was a boy. One of Jesus' followers, Luke, wrote it down many years later. He begins, every year Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. And when Jesus was 12 years old, he went up to the feast as usual. Lentils, water skins, extra sandal straps. Jesus, run and tell your father we're packed and ready to leave. Yes, mother. The trip from their home in Nazareth to Jerusalem took several days. Friends and family traveled together. Jesus likely spent the day with his cousins and friends finding his parents at dinner time. I brought sticks for the fire. I'll start this too. We should reach Jerusalem by noon tomorrow. We don't know what Jesus thought or felt when he saw the city of Jerusalem perched on the rocky hillside ahead. Years later, he would enter the city to the shouts of cheering crowds. But for now, Jesus was just a boy celebrating Passover with his family. You remember where your cousins live, right? We're staying with them again. I can find it. All week. Family celebrated with relatives. Together, they enjoyed the Passover feast. You, O Lord our God, have given us festival days for joy in remembrance of the departure from Egypt. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. When the feast was over, Mary and Joseph packed and began their trip home along the crowded roads. At the end of the day, they stopped to set up camp. Jesus, can you start the cooking fire? Jesus? I thought I saw him with... No, that was before we left the city. Mary and Joseph searched through the nearby family, settling down for the evening. Have you seen Jesus? Not since he gave me the last potato pancake yesterday evening. No one's seen him. Since Jerusalem. We, we left him in the city. Frantic, Mary and Joseph hurried back to Jerusalem to search for their missing son. They immediately checked the home where they had been staying. Very sorry, but I haven't seen him. 
Mary and Joseph crisscrossed the entire city. He loved the honey cakes from that bakery. Excuse me, have you seen a 12-year-old boy about this tall? Dark brown robe, hair kind of sticks out over his ears. Yes, yes, like that. Sorry, haven't seen you. They may have checked the swimming hole or the stables, but Jesus was nowhere to be found. So Mary and Joseph paced the streets at wit's end. He's just never gone off like this. I don't think he's here. We've searched the whole city. Everywhere except... As Mary and Joseph turned the corner, high white walls rose ahead of them. The, the temple. temple! We'll check the courtyard. Just in case. The courtyard was filled with visitors still in the city for Passover. As they circled the open space, Mary froze. Joseph, there! Just ahead, they saw their son. Jesus was sitting with a group of teachers, listening and asking questions. Teacher, isn't it always right to be kind, even if it means giving money to a beggar on the Sabbath? The teachers nodded in agreement and amazement, but Mary and Joseph rushed forward. Jesus! Son, why have you treated us like this? Grabbing her boy, Mary hugged Jesus so hard she nearly squeezed the air out of him. Your father and I have been worried about you. We've been looking for you everywhere. Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? All I know is, no more stunts like this, okay? Jesus returned to Nazareth with his parents, obeying everything they asked of him. As he grew, he grew wiser and stronger. He also became more and more pleasing to God and to others. This month, we're going to be talking about searching for things that are pretty important. So to get us in a searching mood, we have a scavenger hunt for you guys. Coming up on your screen are gonna be some things to find around the house. Like for instance, it might say something cold and you could find an ice cube. So whoever finds those items first are going to get a point and whoever gets the most points at the end will win. Let's give it a go now.
Congratulations, if you have the most points, then you're our winner for today. And we're going to be talking a lot about searching, but what we're searching for isn't something that you can find in your pantry or your kitchen or your bedroom. It's something that we really need and something worth searching for. We're talking about searching for wisdom. I love how dedicated Jesus was to finding wisdom, but what is wisdom? Well, wisdom is finding out what needs to be done or what should be done and doing it. And wisdom can help us a lot. It can help us make good decisions and keep us healthy and safe and make sure that we're taking care of our relationships too. There are lots of times in our lives where we might need to ask God to help us find wisdom. Like for instance, you might be fighting with a sibling and just not sure how to solve the issues there. Or you might find that uh, your friends are asking you to break some rules that you're just not feeling quite comfortable with. Those are some examples of times where you can pray to God and ask Him to help you find wisdom. And speaking of that, there are lots of other ways that we can find wisdom too. Like a great idea is to talk to the people around you, talk to your parents, your teachers and your friends, and they can have some great advice on what you should be doing to solve those situations. Or of course, you can always see what God's Word has for us if you're reading the Bible. Talking to God is also a great way to find wisdom. And the more and more we get into the habit of finding the wisdom, the wiser and wiser we get. I have a great idea for an activity that will help us remind us of the ways we can be searching for wisdom. So let's make a game of memory. You'll need 14 small squares of paper and some pens. Coming up on your screen will be seven different ways we can search for wisdom. Then on two pieces of paper, I want you to draw the same picture so that you'll be able to find them and match them. Then give playing a game of memory a go by putting all of the papers down on the table and trying to match which ones belong with which. Before we finish up, I just want to pray for us quickly. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear God, I just wanted to thank you that we have so many Bible stories that we are able to learn from and that will help us grow in wisdom. And I would just ask that this week you are guiding us to make wise choices and help us to grow wiser and wiser. We love you and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, there we go. We are at the end of our service for today and hopefully you guys had some fun and gained a little bit of wisdom today. Hopefully you're ready to make some wise choices going out into your weeks. And so we thank you so much for joining us today. We had a great time. I'm sure that you guys did as well. And we look forward to seeing you again next time as we continue exploring wisdom. Have a great week, guys.